Hey guys, so normally we're out in the shop with you guys. We thought it'd be really fun and we promised you to walk you through the other half of our offices that we're still working on, but we thought we'd give you a little peek of it. So if you remember, we already did our shop tour, so now it's time for the studio tour. Let's do it, let's show them. Welcome to our <laughs> office. Yes. So this is right coming outside. This is where we close the door and go shoot. This is right where we walk into. This is our kitchen. This is the heart of every home is the kitchen. <laughs> so guys, this before was so bad. And one cool thing about this space, we're leasing it, but we were able to really make any changes that we wanted to make. So one of the first things we did was put in some cabinets because we knew we wanted some kitchen space, some storage, and we found some really cool ones. We'll be linking to all these below, and we'll also be shooting you to our website where we have all the links so you can find everything. So one of our favorite things is that we were able to find a really inexpensive countertop from Ikea, and what is it, like laminate? Yes, it's just a laminate plywood base or particle board that they've covered. So it looks like marble, but we were able to get it super inexpensive so we can still afford to build furniture, which is great. And you can cut it to any size shorter than eight feet. So I think it was like $79 or something. Yeah. We can link to that. And then the sink is like one of our favorites. This was a Amazon or Wayfair find, I can't remember, but we'll link to that and the faucet. And the faucet was super cheap as well. But these cabinets, guys, are a great option for people with like limited income or just a small space. You don't have to go get custom cabinets to make them look nice and expensive. We even bought some cute hardware that we're waiting to come in for them, and those, that would be super cute. So, and one thing, we've shared this backsplash a ton, um, and we get a lot of questions about it. This is actually peel and stick tiles. It's actually peel and stick floor tiles. Yes. But we, they're floor pops. We thought it'd be super fun to put them on the wall. And we've had a few of you send us pictures of doing them in your kitchen, and they look so amazing as a backsplash in the kitchen, too. So we'll be linking to those as well. They're awesome. And many of y'all remember this project right here. That was super popular, and I think because so many people have a need for it, we needed a space to kind of hide our cleaning storage, and we were able to do that. Now it's tucked behind that, so great project we can link to. Hey, let's look up really quick. Who here has popcorn ceilings? That was something we were dealing with in here was popcorn ceilings. So we went with a company called Pro Ceiling Tiles and worked with them on, these are actually the glue up tiles. And then each of the seams is covered by a seam cover. But this is a really cool pattern. We'll link to it, great company. Those are a lot of fun. Step into our hallway, if you will. <laughs> so we've got a little small hallway here, but it's great to have a spot to put our purses, our bags, our jackets, and then we've also done the peel and stick tiles right here. We were actually gonna do it over the entire hallway, but we started to do it and it was really busy, so that we thought it would be just a great accent wall right here. Love the hooks. Yes, and now we're not putting our keys down and getting mad about it because we can't find them. So leading into our break room so one thing many of you know about snack attack here is that we love to eat okay so we really wanted a, a place to sit down and eat i remember sharing this um, table that i built for us on instagram a few weeks back we'll be sharing plans to that at some point and also great metal chairs these are great chairs if you have kids and you can still find them they're pretty awesome because they clean so easily and the best part about them is that they are all metal and they are super inexpensive they're very seasonal because they're outdoor so we've got um we'll share the link to them but you kind of got to wait till they're in stock and let's move our eyes down just a little bit this is one of our all-time favorite rugs it's absolutely beautiful it's gray, it doesn't come off as a blue, and then it's got some whites and some creams in there. It's very neutral, but it's also a great pattern to add on any floor, any style. But this is where we do all of our eating. Yes, it's one of our favorite spots. We have our coffee bar over there, and in this room we also had those terrible popcorn ceilings. So we took those ceiling tiles, the glue up tiles, we did this in this room as well. We also added cam light, so I believe we will be sharing the before pictures and y'all can see the vast difference that those made. This wall right here, this is actually a window that looked into our shop area, but it causes an eyesore and a distraction when we're shooting videos. So we covered the outside of it with our logo on a piece of plywood and then added this just as a little fun wall art to cover it up in here. And we feel like it just speaks a lot to our business. Build a life you can love. So we'll share that as a free printable and as a phone saver here. I think we'll probably just do that below, guys. We'll just add it. So let's take them in here while we're doing that, Ash. We can tap dance on our floors. You want to talk about those? Oh, love these floors. We found them at Floor & Decor. It's a very affordable laminate 
wood flooring, but it, it, it I think it was like around a dollar a square a foot A dollar a square foot, and you can Swiffer the heck out of this thing. It is awesome. So we've been really, really pleased with it. Um, and I like, the, I actually like in this space that it doesn't have any grooves. Yes. You can just sweep it up. And let's take them into the bathroom. We love the bathroom. We love so the bathroom. the bathroom before was just absolutely tragic. We Guys, actually have a before. It was really here. bad. So we had our tile guy come in and he put subway tile all around the sides. This was actually already tiled with some old subway tile and they actually tiled right over that. And we added a really cool cap to the top that looks totally intentional, but it was built out so that we could cover up that there's two layers of tile. Genius. It was so smart. And then Ashley designed this really cool bathroom vanity. This thing has done so well for us because so many of you have a need for a bathroom vanity. We were able to design it really inexpensively. And Ash, remind me where you got that top again. Top is from Home Depot. I think it was about 169, 150-ish. I can't remember the exact price. We'll add a link to the how-to plans for this. Very so let, cute. Let's move on, guys. Let's get out of the bathroom and move up here. So I'm gonna hop a squat right here. <laughs> we shared this project with you guys a while back. This is our, Ashley, come share a seat with me. Sit on this nice, <laughs> nicely built storage trunk. That's right, that's not falling apart <laughs> yet. So no, this is our um, wall of, uh, what do you wanna say, wall of thanks almost. Wall like, of fame. There you go, wall of fame, shanty wall of fame. So this is where um, we get to post all of your shares on Instagram. I still need to print out like 7,000. So I'm on that, I'm getting to that. And, but it's like one of our favorite spots. So we'll link to that project below. And we will also link to this great ottoman that we're sitting on that has been, this is our GoPro ottoman. This is, this is a trunk and then there's two ottomans that yes. fit inside. There you go, I'm saying it wrong. So this is our office area. So mm -hmm. obviously in an office we're gonna have desks. So let's move on over to our desks. <laughs> So Whitney designed these desks. I love them so much. They're a very modern farmhouse. We decided to leave them completely unfinished because we love the look. They've got drawers. <laughs> we also got this top from Ikea. Yes, these are super cheap. And I did link to that in the plans. It's a great little, what do we call this? What kind of desk is it? It's like a... It's a writing desk. A writing desk. It's small. It's just enough to write. It's a perfect size for our office. Okay, so these chairs are from Wayfair. We'll link them in the description box below. I don't remember the price of them, but they... It's crazy because they match our rug that we picked out perfectly. And we'll show you the rug next. That's a great segue. Yes, it is. Oh, I love this rug. This rug makes me so happy. So this was one of Ashley's finds and it... I want it in my house. I it's do too. so beautiful, guys. The colors are amazing. Sometimes I'm scared to have like a rusty color because it just reminds me of two houses ago because yeah. I had that rust color in my house. And I never want to go back to my old colors. But this is like, it's not too much rust. I know, it's just a pop of it. So yeah. with something neutral, it's like just enough to make you happy. And I think it's really transitional too because we've got some rustic modern farmhouse furniture in here, but we've also got a modern couch. We found this at At Home. I'm not sure if they have it anymore, but I think it goes really well with the rug. We also did the wood wall treatment that we showed you guys um, several videos back. Um, this is just a great option for any blank white wall that you have in your home and can be completely modified by finish, by wood type. There are so many options you can do with a wall like this. And we've had several of you send videos, or excuse me, pictures of ones that you've done and they're so awesome. So we love seeing the variation. And that leads us to our storage cabinet that we shared also several weeks back. That one has also done really awesome. We're able to keep a lot of our camera equipment and stuff in there. But for people at home, this makes a great, what is it, a great TV console storage console in the living room. It's, it's great for perfect. those of you, when our kids were younger, well, Whitney's got young kids still, but when mm. your kids are younger, you have their toys out in the living room, obviously, where everybody's at, and this is like the perfect spot. You can throw some baskets in there, put some toys in there, still have your TV console, and it's still beautiful. Yes, and one more thing, looking up, this, we also had those lovely, that many of you are stuck with, office, what are those, drop-in ceiling tiles? Yeah. And they were the biggest eyesore when we walked in this building. We were able to work with pro ceiling tiles on those two and switch those out for this really beautiful pattern. I think it made this space look, I mean, 30 years newer just putting those in right there. Yeah, those um, drop-in ceiling tiles, they always end up getting warped or they yes. get stained and they just look really, really bad after. We have to carry years. the old ones 
to the trash because they were in bad shape and that was that was hard guys that was rough this has just been a really fun space one thing we were challenged to do was really just kind of give this an updated look on a very limited budget because we're not going to get any of this money back this is just purely for us to feel creative and come enjoy so and I, we do enjoy it very much it's a great <laughs> spot to do our videos at and it's a great spot to just sneak away and get work done yeah. it's good so we just thank you guys for making this possible. We love sharing videos with you, and we're so thankful that y'all follow. Bye-bye. <laughs> we have nothing else to say. Nothing else. Done. <laughs>